there's no, no way. It's, it's, it's trillion. Yeah, well, it's, the, federal, the federal budget was 3.8 trillion, so there's no way we spent well, more than our federal budget. No, no, no. But I'm going to help you out. It's probably billion. Did you say, no, tri did you say trillion or billion? It's, it's trillion. It's done by the International Mon Monetary Fund, and probably it's not. It's, it's not possible. I mean, I'm sorry no, to. I'm not, I'm not saying just in the United States. Oh, okay, worldwide. All right, then that might be conceivable. Sure. Right. So, I mean, yeah, but anyway, so I would say instead of subsidizing these fossil fuels companies, I would say that take these subsidies to renewables and other forms of cleaner energy that would be beneficial to the environment right, while it. still pertaining to Fair enough. La last question. So where do we get the cobalt to make the batteries and what do we do with them? No, I'm asking. What, 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 where, where do you recommend we get the cobalt to make the batteries? Wait, can, can I answer? So, like, your argument is about this mining argument, right? Like, no, I'm not making. I'm asking a question, dude. Like, where, we, where do we get it from? Yeah. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back again with a new video. Today, we're going to be checking out Chad Cook versus Environmentalist Not. This is a full clip. I call it Charlie Kick because I love kicking us. Let's get right to today's video. Um, given that you believe human beings are exacerbating climate change, shouldn't you agree that we ought to transition away from fossil fuels? Well, no, I, I don't agree with that. I, my contention is I don't know. I do believe global temperatures are rising. I'm not willing to say definitively it's anthropogenic, meaning it's human activity. But if you connect the two, I asked the question I asked earlier, how much? Are there any other contributing factors to rising global temperatures other than human activity? If so, what are they and to what degree do they factor into rising global temperatures? But sure, do, that, you want to follow up on that? Yeah, I was wondering how can you not know whether climate change is happening when a recent survey of 88,125 climate-related studies done by Institute of Physics cites that more than 99.9% .9 of peer-reviewed scientific papers agree that climate change is caused by human activity. How much? So how much of the global temperature rising is because of human activity? No. What percentage? Well, is it 70%, 80%, 85%, 5%, 1%? Because that's not what the study said. They're saying that human activity is contributing to part of the increase. What part? They don't know. That's debated. Can I answer that? Sure. Uh, so like, there's actually a statistics uh, or, or a study done that suggests that climate-related uh, disasters are eight times more likely than in 1980s. Well, hold on a second. You know that we have less people dying because of quote unquote climate related disasters thanks to fossil fuels. We have less people dying because of extreme exposure to cold hurricanes because of the advancements we have thanks to fossil fuels. Uh, you know, this idea, it's very interesting in modern society. We take for granted the idea of having widespread shelter, heating or air conditioning in extreme climates thanks to hydrocarbons we take for granted, mm. that used to be a leading cause of death of human beings up until 1850s. Now, if I, if I posit your contention, climate-related catastrophes, even though, according to peer-reviewed studies, that climate-related catastrophe death is actually at all-time all low, the question is then for you, which is, what would you get rid of, when, and what would the cost of that be? That is the question, so please answer that. Well, I was just wondering, like, you know, you didn't really answer my question, but I was um, obviously I can't give you like exact percentage of numbers, but I do think that we ought to transition away from fossil fuel, right? Like I'm not against growth or development. I obviously agree with you that, you yep. know, the industrial revolution, like economic growth is good. It's good. lifting people out of poverty. That's obviously good, right? But in developed countries today where we have the ability to not damage our economy but also benefit the environment, shouldn't we do that? Okay, so give me an example. What specifically would you ban? You're king for a day. What would you ban? Would you ban liquid natural gas? Would you buy nu ban nuclear? Would you ban fracking? Would you ban... What kind of hydrocarbons would you ban? Give me the examples and you're king for a day. What would you do? Well, see, I, I wouldn't like straight up ban something, right? So I'm not, I'm not at, okay. av like advocating for like you know, just like fossil fuels, we end fossil fuels like okay, that's immediately. A, that's right? a mature answer, good for you. No, I mean that, that's the, because the, the, the radicals don't always say that. Please continue. Right, so I'll, I'll, I'll argue for like market-based solutions, a transition away, like, like for example, I think um, in 2020, like uh, the government funded $5.9 trillion to fossil fuel companies. I would say that instead of investing these, this money, $5.9 trillion to fossil yeah, fuel that, companies. That, that doesn't sound right. But you might, might be in tax credits, maybe, or tax breaks. That's, that doesn't sound subsidies. right. Subsidies. 
subsidies. No, that's 5.9 billion, probably not trillion. There's no, no it's, way. It's, it's trillion. Yeah, well, the federal, the federal budget was 3.8 trillion, so there's no way we spent well, more than our federal budget. No, 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 but I'm going to help you out. It's probably billion. Did you say, no, tri did you say trillion or billion? It's, it's trillion. It's done by the International Mon Monetary Fund. And probably it's not. It's, it's not possible. I mean, I'm sorry no, to. I'm not, I'm not saying just in the United States. Oh, okay. Worldwide. All right. Then that might be conceivable. Right. Sure. So, I mean, yeah, but anyway, so I would say instead of subsidizing these fossil fuels companies, I would say that take these subsidies to renewables and other forms of cleaner energy that would be beneficial to the environment right, while it. still pertaining to Fair enough. La last question. So where do we get the cobalt to make the batteries and what do we do with them? Thank you. No, I'm asking. Yeah. What, what, where, where do you recommend we get the cobalt to make the batteries? Wait, can, can I answer? So... Like, your argument is about this mining argument, right? Like, no, I'm not making, I'm asking a question, dude. Like, where, we, where do we get it from? Yeah, so, so then how about this? Where should, where, how, how and where should we dispose of the incredibly acidic, sometimes radioactive batteries that electric vehicles use? Where, where should we dispose of them? But, but that argument, you see, it's a, it's a straw man because you're Answer just... Answer the question. No, I am answering question. I, I am answering, I am literally answering your questions, right? So you're arguing about this renewable energies <laughs> and their batteries and how they cause environmental I've, harm, right? I've asked a question. I'm not making an argument. What should we do with the batteries no, once we use I'm them? I'm saying that's, that's, a, that's a straw man because you can't... A straw man you. question. That's a first. I've never been accused of a straw man no, question. Because you, you, you have an underlying premise in your question that renewable energies exist in a vacuum, but you can't do that. That's not comparative analysis. You have to compare renewables for fossil fuels, with fracking and stuff. Whoa. All right, pal, how about this? How about this? You can't answer the question because deep down you know that cobalt-powered batteries are worse for the environment than liquid and natural gas and nuclear power. So you come up on here to try to virtue signal, I love the environment, but as soon as you ask me about the incredibly environmentally inefficient, destructive, animal-killing, acidic-producing batteries, you're a strong man. You're out of time. Thanks for being here tonight. Next question. Hey, Charlie. Okay, that was done and dusted. Uh, I love the entire debate. Like, it was really, really beautiful. Is it people that come and browse about this environmentalist? Um, the important thing, they, they keep on dodging for it. So, when are we going to drop those batteries? <laughs> he does not know. You see, when it comes to this cobalt power battery, they are very, very, very toxic. They are very bad for the environment. But this environmentalist, they won't talk about it. So, they are, they are kind of like, if you're yelling, Speaking, you know, they're kind of like hypocrites because they'll sweep some things under the carpet, whereas they feel like they are protecting the environment, but they are not protecting the environment. They are basically not protecting the environment. I love how Charlie handled this. I love how Charlie dismantled. This is total dismantling of this environmentalist. Charlie sweeping. This was brutal. <laughs> I feel like this is very, very brutal. The way Charlie like destroyed him, I tell him, answer the question. He was speechless at first because he he felt like Charlie has trapped him. Charlie has trapped him in his own dilemma. He's trying to freeze to Charlie. It's it was very beautiful watching this because I feel like more environmentalists ought to see this video and it would change their mindset because they are they are feeling super perfect and they are the, they are the savior of the environment, whereas they're not saving any the environment. Comment down below, think about this video, give us a thumbs up, share this video to as many as you can, subscribe to the channel, I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag, like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking, I don't know, papers, pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku, bitch, in my bed. I got scales all